Hey guys, Too Legit City here. I know some of you have asked about how to do the one drop lock like this, especially for when I was doing the one tile food storage video. A lot of you guys had questions on how I was able to achieve a one tile crude oil drop while maintaining a vacuum. And to answer that question today, we're going to tell you how to do such a thing. And of course, the first thing is we are going to use a design for that and we're going to build the bottom half of that. You could see that this tile is going to be simulating the tile where the food's going to be. And what you're going to want to do is do this first and then build a bottle emptier on top and have it so that the bottle will drip into this tile. And you literally have to let the extra oil spill out. So once you build this, you're just going to be waiting for someone to grab some oil. All right, so Kaken over there has the oil. As you can see, we don't need to drop that much. Once we get a tile there, I'm actually going to uncheck it. And we're just going to let the oil spill out. At this point, you're just going to deconstruct the bottle emptier. And we're just going to let as much oil stay there as possible. Now, after we're done with deconstructing this tile, all we're going to want to do is build the top layer to seal it off. So we're going to build that. Of course, since we can't reach that, I'm going to have to build a couple ladders as well. And once we finish the top part, we could actually deconstruct this tile from the ladder. And when we do that, we're going to be able to make the vacuum on this tile while maintaining it with a crude oil lock. And then we're able to build standing on this tile the chute for the food storage. And that's going to be how we do that. A lot of the times, that's going to be exactly how you're going to want to build something like that. Especially if you're trying to build the same design with a one drop lock for the sublimination station. If you're deciding to use that to lock in the polluted oxygen so that you don't have to worry about mixed gases, yucky lungs debuff. Now, some of you also have asked does it matter what type of liquid you end up choosing for that? And in most cases, crude oil is always going to be the best option. And this stems from how gas interacts with crude oil. Sometimes, if you don't have crude oil on that tile, what ends up happening is the gases will push the liquid and do a weird interaction, causing the lock to break. I've had this happen to me multiple times when I was using water and salt water for the one drop lock. So I will recommend oil if you ever do a one drop lock like this. If you are using a regular liquid lock, any liquid is fine. Specifically the one drop lock, I would always recommend oil. But for the most part, that has been how to build the one drop lock for the one tile storage system. Hope you guys found this helpful and maybe are able to use this technique to make one drop locks for your other designs. But of course, if you guys have any comments, questions about this, let me know in the comments down below. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And of course, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you, guys.